Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements photo editing project. Now, what we'll be doing in this Photoshop Elements project is to change the color of this jacket, like I have right here. It's a fairly straightforward process, and there is normally an easy way to do this, but it's not going to work for us. Let me show you what the problem is here. Let's just hide that green layer, bring this back up again here. If we go up to the Enhance menu up here and then use the Adjust Color and then the Photoshop Elements Replace Color tool right here. With this tool, you choose a color in your image like that. You then come in and adjust the fuzziness until you get a good amount of that selection in there. That looks pretty good. You then adjust your hue and that changes your color. And right now you can see the problem. We have this red outline happening around the jacket. So there's a problem in here that's making us that this tool is not going to work for us. No matter how fuzzy I go, that red outline stays there. If I try to select that, it still doesn't really help. As you can see, we still see a red outline. So this tool doesn't work on this particular jacket. Let's take a look and see what the problem is here. I'm going to zoom in on this, zoom in over here. And notice we have this magenta band right along that edge. And that's the problem is that magenta band. I don't know where that came from. It possibly came in here with JPEG compression. I found this image online and notice this problem after I found the image, but we can fix this. We can work around this. It's okay. It just takes a few more steps to do this. Let's go back to fit on screen. Now the color I want to use is the one that I have right up here. Let me just show you that. And let's set this back to normal. That's our color we'll be using. And I'll just reset my color here to match. There it is. It's just a basic green color in here. It comes in darker on the image because we're overlaying this onto that red underneath. So we're using all the values of the red and the red tends to be darker in spots and that darkens down this color. That's a good basic color for this. And I'll set this back to color again, just like that. Okay, so the process is going to be to make a selection around the jacket then take out these little areas in here that shouldn't be in the selection, make our color layer, and then set up blend modes and so forth. There are a few tricks, of course, along the way to make this work out. So we'll get started on this. Now I'll remove all these layers up here in my sample demo, get rid of all that, and we're back to the original background layer, and I have the color I want to be using. So we need to make a selection. Now, normally at this point in a normal project, I would say to make a backup copy of your layer and then work from that copy layer it's not important here because part of our selection process will be giving us a new layer. So we're okay on that one. And I'll start off, we'll zoom in a little bit here. Now when you're doing this kind of selection, I'll be using the polygonal lasso tool right here. Notice that we have this little gradient along the edge. It goes from the jacket and a very short gradient into the background. What you want to do is to be making your selection right in the middle of that gradient area and that will give you the best selection. Sometimes you have to be in pretty tight to do this. You can find the right spot for your selection to make it as easy as possible. I think I'm a little too close here, but you can see what I'm talking about in this view. Now, if you click too fast like that, it's going to close down or collapse your selection. You'll then have to start over again. So make sure you don't click too fast. Control D to deselect that. When you're using this tool, click for a point, find your next spot, click, find your next spot, click, find your next spot and click and just give it a beat between each clicks and you'll be just fine. Okay, let's get rid of that. All right, I'm going to back out here just a little bit on this and I think that's pretty good for me right here. And I'll make this first part of the selection which is out and around the jacket. Once I have this part of the selection done, we'll then come back in and clean up that selection. Because this will take me a few minutes for the selection, I'm going to pause the video at this point and then I'll bring the video right back up again as soon as I have finished making this selection. Okay, I've finished this selection. When I need to do some adjustments in here, I need to remove this black bit right down here where the zipper is, the zipper around the pocket over here, and this patch over here. I need to add in a little bit right up here at the sleeve. So we'll start off with that first. I'll zoom in on that point. There we go, you see a little bit of red right here. Back to our tool, set this to add on the options right down there, and I'll just come in and grab this little bit of red that's showing right in here. It's just a little small piece, but it makes a big difference. There we go. Okay, I'll hold the space bar down and I'll move this down. Notice I came in pretty close on the hair. We'll still check that edge with the Refine Edge tool. We now need to remove this bit. So let's go over here to Subtract. There we are. And I'll start 
outside the selection right here. Now we have a little bit of shadow on one side and a bigger shadow on the other side. So you have to be careful to be taking out what you want to be taking out and not taking out shadow areas. Okay, I'll just come right down here. Just kind of eyeball where that should be as a little bit kind of comes out right around here. Let's work around this again. Make sure you don't click too fast with this tool or it's going to collapse your selection and cause all kinds of headaches. So just take your time, give it a beat between each click and you'll be fine. And let's move on down here. And again, following along right where that edge of that should be, leaving a slight shadow on that one side. And there's something else right here. I'll just come around that. And then again, right down the edge and off the bottom of the screen, we'll come back in where this should be on the other side. You can kind of see it right in here. It's a little spot where it gets light enough, but this is going to be basically parallel to the other line. So I'll just kind of follow up parallel on that and we'll be okay. And again, space bar to move, bring this back up to this side and right back up here and over to our beginning point. And that takes care of that one. Space bar again, let's come down here. Now this is a little bit of a zipper right here. I think we'll be okay on that. I only want to remove the black area. You're gonna start outside, come right into that fuzzy area there. And we'll just walk up around that part. Here we go, leaving in the shadow that's in behind it. And come down this side. Here we go, and then back up again on this side. Now, if you want to, you can do a little bit of a zigzag motion on the zipper right here, which would be more accurate. Now, when you're doing this kind of little detail like this, these little small motions, it's real easy to accidentally click too fast because these motions are so small. So I'd recommend being a little slower if you're working around this kind of detail. And you won't then accidentally collapse your selection. That's the most important thing. Okay, back up around here. And same thing on this side. It's not quite as bad over here. I think we can skip the zigzag on this side. It's not really as pronounced. Bring that right down here again. Back to the beginning. There we go. And again, space bar to move. Do the same thing here with the patch. Staying inside that section. There's a little bit of a shadow around this. That's fine. You can leave that shadow out. When you have curves like this, just put your points closer together and you get a nice gentle curve on that. Okay, working up around the top and back to our beginning point. There we go. And that takes care of all of that. Let's now do control zero back to fit screen. No part on the fur of the hood. I stay just a little ways away from the fur, so let's fix that. I'll come in here with the zoom tool. There we go. And for this, let's go back to the polygonal lasso. Come down to refine edge. And I'll use the refine edge tool on this. Now, normally I'll use this tool with overlay but here I have a red with a red background. So it doesn't work for me on their overlay. So instead of using the marching ants and this should work and I'll just brush right in against this edge. You can try these edges from both directions and see which one gives you the best edge. It looks like coming in this side is giving you the best edge. I'm gonna do that clear up on the top here and like that, that's good. Hold the space bar down to move. Now this is gonna leave just a little bit of a reddish edge no matter what I do in here. A little bit of feathering, but I have a trick for that, which will solve that for us. And it's coming around in here. And there we go. Now that piece should not be there. Everything else is fine. Over here to this eraser tool and see if we can just erase that out. There we go, that works. Back to our regular tool again. Okay, that solves that. I think we're fine every place else. Let's just double check along the edge of the hair here, but I think this looks okay. And that's about the best I can do on that. Okay, now come down here to output and we're gonna output this to a new layer with layer mask and that gives me that background there as a backup. So we're making a new layer right now. There we go. We can then hide the original layer here. That's our backup layer. So that's all nice and safely taken care of. Now I'll use the control zero keyboard shortcut back to fit screen. There's our basic selection. It's a little bit weird right here. We'll fix that. It's a little weird up here. We'll fix this of course as well. Now. What we need to do is to change this color over to our new green color. And for that, let's make a new layer like this. Choose your color, whatever color you want. Now I would recommend going for a little bit less saturated on this because we want to be similar to this, but keep in mind that this is going to darken down your color. So be a little brighter than you think to get the right color in here. So I have mine chosen already. And then grab the paint bucket tool, click in here and you get one solid color layer. Of course, that looks kind of strange, but we have our layer mask already made down here. All you have to do is just take our layer mask, drag it up one layer, 
and the layer mask is now on the color layer and not on the layer underneath. That is nice solid color. The edges look really good. Maybe a little bit up here needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. But let's get the colors blended in first. So let's go up here to our color layer, come up to the blend modes and come down to color. And that now converts that into a color and that looks real nice. Okay, there's a few problems in here. Right up along here, I see some red along this edge in here. And we have some red right down over in here, maybe a little bit right down there. Everything else looks just fine. We can fix that by actually taking this and making these areas a gray tone. You'll see what I mean. Because we have green on top of that, if I make this into a gray tone, it's going to look like it's either green over here or white on this side, which is absolutely perfect. But that's done on our layer right down here. So we're actually changing the pixels of this layer, which is why we have that background layer below there. Okay, grab the zoom tool. Let's first do the fringe up here around the hood. I'll hold the space bar down and then go up here to this tool. Now this will probably look like this if you haven't used this yet. Come down to the options, choose this tool, so the sponge tool. You want to set at desaturate. You want a soft edge brush. And that's pretty small right now. I'm gonna make this brush up to about 20 pixels to begin with. That's a good size. Make sure you're on the photo layer. And then just come in here and brush right over where it's red. That converts that area into grayscale instead of being a color picture. So it's only being colored now by that green layer on top, or it's going into a grayscale and this white fur in grayscale looks perfect. It should be gray anyway. So this gets rid of that green very nicely. Hold the space bar down to move your picture. We'll just go along this, take care of this whole hood. There we go. And that solves it. There's a little bit over here. We can see a little bit of red showing right there. I can do the exact same trick right along that edge and catch any little bit of that. Just convert that into a gray. The green then colorizes it and we have a perfect edge over there. Okay, let's go over to this side. We have a little bit right in here. Same exact trick. Just come in here and convert that to a gray scale and then the green colorizes that gray scale and we have a perfect color in there. That's the part that the selection really didn't want to grab properly. I tried the refine edge and that just made things a bit worse, but this solves all of that. So anywhere where you see that red, just come in and do this. Now, if I had a bright color right over here, this wouldn't work out for me. This has to be something which can go grayscale and not be noticeable. Again, if it's a bright color, you'll see a grayscale in your color. But for this, all of these areas can be black and white basically, and they look just fine. The same thing right up along this edge here. Just a little bit up here, a little bit along in here. Looking good. Right along this edge here. That cleaned out. Most of the time, this trick will actually work out for you. Because you get these kind of edges, along edges that are either going dark or that are a dark color, and going grayscale on a dark color usually works out just fine, like that right here. And a little bit down here along this edge of this patch. That cleans that up. There we go. And one last thing is check our zipper down here. I thought that might need something. There we go. Again, making a black zipper into a grayscale zipper just makes black into black. So no problems on that at all. A few final touch-ups along here. Control zero. There we go. We've now converted that red jacket into a nice green jacket. This, of course, we can easily now change this color to anything else we want to at any point. Just by putting an adjustment layer on top of this layer. Let me show you that over here. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and hue saturation. Use previous layer, check that, choose okay. We can now change the color of the jacket just by changing the hue right here. So it gives you a lot of control once you have this on its own separate color layer. And if you wanna learn a lot more about using Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements where I cover all the basics, how to use all the tools, how to use all the menus, how to use all the panels. I also go over the whole Elements Organizer as well in that training. And the link for that is right down there in the description. Make sure you click on like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.